approximately 25% of all land on earth exists in a degraded condition. This mainly results from population increase, land use change, as well as climate change. Restoration of this land will sequester large amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide, feed millions, improve wildlife habitat, and make water more abundant. Brand restoration refers to the bringing back of marginal land or previous degraded soil back into its natural productive use. The United Nations has declared 2021-2030 the decade of ecosystems. The United Nations notes that between now and 2030, the restoration of 350 million hectares of degraded ecosystems could remove 13 to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. A variety of land restoration methods can be implemented by individuals, groups, agencies, and the community. The restoration process begins with an assessment of the degraded site. The current site condition should be thoroughly examined to identify any potential actions required to restore the site. Restoration should consider the cause of the degradation, the likelihood that the degradation can be reversed or lessened, and the ways in which restoration can be achieved. In some cases, simply the removal of the source of the disturbance and allowing the site to recover through ecological succession can be used to restore the degraded land. This is called passive restoration. For example, stopping the intensive cultivation of an agricultural land and allowing the land to recover may be enough to bring a site back to its predisturbed state. In cases where the degradation has passed the threshold and the site are not able to recover on their own, active restoration process is to be implemented. In active restoration, removal or cessation of the disturbance is the first step, followed by the measures which accelerate the recovery process. It includes restoration of the soil or water's original chemical, biological and physical characteristics such as improving soil pH, inoculating soil with beneficial microorganisms, and tilling to improve aeration and root penetration. Another component of active restoration is restoring the plant community by select seeds or seedlings for revegetation. Selection focuses on species that will be most suitable for the local conditions as well as intended use. Monitoring and documentation are essential in the restoration process as it determines if the restoration goals are being met. In some cases, only a limited human intervention may be necessary, while in other cases, human intervention may be necessary for decades.